Nice start. Turn one Acolyte, turn two Acolyte, and then we level a little bit. Why not Kyriel? I think she didn't get buffed enough. She's good, but not great. Tria yeah, Godus with a 10 months. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I was considering picking double attack to fill up the body meter faster. But I think that's like too next level and too crazy. Even for me. Okay. What's the play here? Next time I'm just gonna level. And yes, I picked HP because I felt HP is better than some shitty 1-1s. One but is it? Well, it is here. It is here. Uh, if I get very lucky, I can hit a token generator or a swabby, which allows faster leveling. Nice. Now this is premium. Now it's just easy, level, discover, four drop, start dancing around if you hit something good type of game. Yeah, Earth Invocation with three minions for sure the pick. Now it's looking mwah, premium. I'm the only one who's Tavern free. Most of my opponents are just Tavern too. Radu, ever since the balance update I cannot seem to climb anymore. I just top 8 while having a full 40-40 elemental comp. I mean I have to see your game to see exactly what you're doing wrong. I was gonna say you don't play for tempo enough maybe but... What you're describing is that you are playing for tempo. Ouch. I could have stayed one more turn on Tavern too, but I felt like it wasn't needed. We hit the Doomsayer, so now we go Mox Milk. I like Scallywag more than Harvest Golem. Do you, do you go double Acolyte? I mean, we could freeze for another Acolyte if we feel frisky. I will protect these recruits with my life. Acolyte is not that good with Earth Invocation, by the way. If an Acolyte has Earth Invocation, it gets the Invocation first before it's getting uh, the 2-1. If you pick Earth Invocation, you wanna... be a bit smart about it and put the Raptor a bit later. But there are ways to make it good, don't worry. I'm gonna feed Ragnagos and Ragnagos is gonna feed feed me. It's just gonna be like a mutual uh, relationship. People were saying Doomsayer is not good in this meta game. Let's prove them wrong. Too bad the Raptor didn't die. fed him and he fucked me. That is not how I see this mutual relationship. Nine! Is a lot of damage.
Next fight is gonna go better, Copium. We might not level next turn, so I need to prepare to get stronger on Tavern 4. I am sending you back in three, two, one. I hope we still get a 4-1. I like Skellywag a lot because it summons the one one before summoning the other one ones. Man! Every single time they can attack into the Doomsayer, they attack into the Doomsayer. At least we don't lose the fucking fight. But everybody's out there to kill my Doomsayer. Mad you. Translation, I won baby raid. It was actually a tie. I feel like I might need soul juggler. Because this guy is max, maybe I can go AoE. I like AoE once. Just one off AoE. Three, two, it's pretty weak. But this is the thing, we wanna win fights. I don't want no fucking around. You need to milk the Doomsayer, but winning the fight or tying it is priority, because if you take too much damage, you're dead. Flash news. This is a good fight. This is how I want my fights to go. Don't you want to remember all the elements on this hero? No, that's bait. You pick the element you want, you don't need to remember shit. Uh, we level now. We can hold Overseer, or we can play it for Tempo. I think I'm okay playing it for Tempo. I don't know what invocation I want to go for. I think I want to go for the Dev Rattle one. AoE to kill the fish. Yeah, it's probably not. It's probably not water, and it's probably not earth, and it's probably not fire. Let's just go lightning to kill the fish. I agree. It's probably the best course of action. It's a weird spot because we're not high rolling like crazy. No rest for the, weary, hero. the fish is a tutu. We missed. We missed on the fish. Hopefully it's still fine. I deserve the dead guy fight, dude. I fucking deserve it.
I will kick Doomsayer soon. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep it next turn. But yeah, one adapt Dawn turned out to be good because it got it gave me poisonous. Nice. Not sure if I'm super happy that I taunted the big panel though. I'm also not sure how happy I am with the Raptor. Oh my god, Ragnaros is gonna go crazy. What garbage? So, I want to AoE. And I want to try to poison both my Murlocs. We almost died, but we didn't. People fell bad. Slinger. Maybe I have to kick the raptor, I don't know. Too late for Bran. Oh my god, so close to killing that. Well, now it's at least a tie. But I think we win.
Maybe selfless is good enough here. There's no reason to play selfless, right? I wanna just lead with my poisons. Keep stat minions in the back. And hopefully we get there, I don't know. If we fight Ragnaros, I think we wanna go full poison. So finding second module is like the best investment. Felbat is still good because it buffs my Amalgans. But the big final, mmm. Wow, the luck on the guy, keeping the Divine Shield on that and on the other. I don't know if I'm strong enough to win here. I guess I barely am. That was the worst lightning ever, and I still won. The guy had mad stats, but it wasn't enough. So now we fight the other Murloc player in the lobby. What type of cheese can I go for? I guess it's just moduling my guy. Felbat is better than the big Fagnal. This is good for next turn if I hit another Dawn. I just play selfless anyways. And chat, two free poison is better than a... Uh, the other big minion. It just is. I'm not the one making the rules. No rest for the weary hero. The big final would not be able to kill a minion like that. Rockpool killed the biggest minion opponent had. So what do you think, chat? Who is better? Brukhan is such a scam hero. Such a scam hero. Like, three or four fights ago, I had 70% to die to Ragnaros, and now I won the lobby. Like, what? What was this? Just giga scams the entire lobby. Out of all the games today, this was like the least likely to end up in a win, if you looked at it mid-game. And it's the only one that ended up in a win. I need to step up my game.